Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I pressed the stop button <laughs> instead of the pause. So this is part two, I guess. All right, so now we have done that. We have colored in the pieces and cut them. I put them in a little tray so I don't lose them. And we have done the back and the middle section. And now I'm going to do the front, which is this section over here. So I like to do the sponging in that before I put the card together. I find it that it's easier to do. So again, I'm going to get the, my balmy blue. And I'm going to sponge the top so I can create the sky. So I just go around. Just a little bit around. Not much. And then I will do some clouds again, like I did before. Sometimes I stamp and then I stamped off. Okay, so that's done. And now we're going to get the old olive again. And I'm going to do a little bit of the bias. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, now I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to put the card together and then we can decorate the card. So we have three pieces. We have this one here that is being scored. We got the middle section, okay, and we have the back. So the first thing I'll do is I get this part here while it's open, and this little section here, I'm going to glue this piece on that panel there. Okay, so I'm going to use glue. You can use tape if you like, but I find that the glue is better because you got a little bit of wiggly room. So I'm going to attach this to here the best that I can make sure it's nice and even okay so now we have that okay now this part which is the front we close the card so we have done that now we close the card and now we're gonna glue the front to all this section here, right like this on top, okay? So we close the card and we're going to put glue all on top of this section here. Okay, and now this one, the front goes right on top of this, making sure that it's nice and even. When you circle and when you got that nice and even you can just close it and that's that and then you got this funny looking thing you put this one in like this and then that is that section see that and now we're going to stamp stamp the um this bit here okay which is, okay, we got that, okay? So I go like this, and I'm gonna put a little pencil mark again. See, can you see that? Okay, and then I'm gonna just flip it this way, and I'm gonna do my stamping in here to make it easier, which is that, go confident in the direction of your dream. So again, I stamp. I may do a little bit of. What should I? No, I stamp first. So we're gonna stamp it. I'm gonna make sure that this is flat, so I can stamp. Try to make it nice and straight. Yes, beautiful. 
Okay, now I'm going to take the pencil mark because remember, if you don't take the pencil mark now, when you put add your color with the sponge, then the gray leg, the pencil, gets trapped in between your ink and then you won't be able to take that pencil mark. Should wait a little bit in case that this is still wet. But I think I'm all right. Okay, let me put this on here so my glue doesn't. Okay, get the rid of the pencil, the rubber. Okay, now let's do some clouds. Get my balmy blue. See, making sure that it's correct. Yes, it looks very good. Yep. Okay, so let's put some clouds. Clouds. Okay, and I'm happy with that. And now I'm gonna get some blue. Add a little bit of blue. Yeah. Just a little bit. I don't want too much. Okay. Now we can close the card. Okay. Okay. Remember how it was? Remember this is what it looked this section here goes behind that one see that remember we glue that and then that goes like this and now we're going to decorate the center here to decorate this i will have this guide that we've done it before and i'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of it let me cut some of the some dimensionals here I'm gonna put dimensionals on the bottom. Can you see that? Yeah. On the bottom here. Because I'm going to put this here. So I've got to make sure that I go not over here because you don't want it to glue on the back of the card. Okay, so that's enough. So take that off. Very easy card to do. Now we glue this here. Just like that. And then we get one of these little tiny ones and I'm gonna glue it here. That is a bit too big. So what I did is I cut that there. Cut it in half. And I add a little bit of glue on the back of this. And I put it here, just like that. And whatever was coming out, I trim. And this other little bit, I put glue on it. And I stick it underneath the other one. So it looks a bit higher like this all right then i'll get one of these ones that we did and but before that i'm gonna stamp a couple here because you can see that i got some on the back and some on the front so i stamp a couple of those over here let me open the card so it's flat Stamp one there and one here, like that. And now I'm going to color in and then I'll get back. Okay, I have colored in those two that I stamped earlier. Okay, and now we're going to continue decorating the front. So the next thing that I'll do, I already got the background ones, so I'm going to put one of these ones and I add dimensionals on the back. And I 
put this one here actually i may use a purple one a bit more contrast put a purple next to the pink there you go purple one so i put dimensionals like that and now we're going to put a little gate in here just so there's a it looks like this dilution that the gate continues so i glue this one flat that and then i get another one same like this one but different color and i will put this one in front of that to hide that gate all right and then remember we did a little bird i actually put dimensionals on the whoop so tiny the little bit let me put this on the glue clean up a little bit okay now with the tiny tiny whoop, little bird and i'm gonna sit the bird on top of this guy like that so now we have that then we open this and now we're going to be working on this one here now this one here i'll quickly color it in front of you because it's can see it's super quick and then the dark flirty flamingo in the center just to give it dimension and we'll use the granny apple green for the leaves and in here the leaves few leaves a few little dots and I'm happy with that okay the next step that I going to do is I have another little gate here which I'm gonna put this one on dimensionals but only the part that is going to be glued here because we don't want it to get close to that. So I'm going to put the mesh on half, halfway to this. So I put this guy here like that. And then I'm going to get another one of those that I done earlier. And I put glue only half. Because the other half is going to be a bit here. So I don't want it to be stuck. And I put it behind the gate. You can see. Behind the gate. And in front of the other one. Okay. Then we get the little cat. Where's my cat? Where's my cat? Oh, there's going to be too much wire here. Let me cut it a bit. Didn't do a good job when I... With my uh, dice. It's okay to have white around it, but I think it's a bit too much here. So that's better. Okay, and then I'm going to put a dimensional on the base of the cat. And I'm going to put the cat right here. So it looks like he's looking. And then. I'm gonna get another of these little flowers. Mm, where's the little flower? Yeah. Check one. I want some more yellow. Let me put a little bit of yellow on it. So just on the back of it like that. Just to give it a bit more color. And I'm gonna put this flat. Yeah, just like that. Do this. And now we're going to get another one of these. And I'm going to glue it right here. Right. 
right there. See? All right. Now, this looks like everything is floating. So what we do is we're going to ground everything like it's on the ground. So to do that, you get your marker, you, and then you color in on the base of this. And you add like a bit of shadow and a bit of color just on the bottom to put everything is sort of grounded now. See, now it's not floating. And we do the same thing on the front. Okay, so we'll use, I like using the lighter one. So I put green. You know, everything look like is actually grounded. Now, sometimes, see when you go like this, it looks like it gets a little bit stuck because of this. Can you see that? To stop that from happening, what you can do is you just get a little bit of type. Yes, a little bit of cut type. And we put it on there. We cut it, and that is gonna stop. It's gonna stop that from getting stuck. All right, and that's it. So that's the card. That's the one that I put on Facebook, and that's the one that we did together. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, you try to make you your own. Um, till next time. See you later. Bye.